There are a hundred times more drug-induced deaths in the UK than in Portugal. Almost one third of drug overdoses in Europe is recorded in the UK and the figures are drastically rising. We've seen a rise in 26% of people dying from drugs and alcohol since 2016. But in Portugal, they have rethought their approach to drug laws. Drugs have been decriminalised. Drug traffickers are still being hunted down and prosecuted. But if you are caught using drugs, you won't get sent to prison or get a criminal record in the UK, you can get up to seven years in jail if you are caught with a Class A drug. Addiction is certainly an illness, and those with addiction issues need to get the right help. Giving them worse sentences will only drive more people underground. Less people will seek help, and this will only further increase the issues with addiction in the UK. In Portugal, the punishment is information about addiction or being sent to a treatment programme. And despite what you may think, the decriminalisation of drugs hasn't caused a full-blown drug party in Portugal. Actually, young people in the UK still do a lot more drugs. For instance, 10 times as much cocaine and MDMA. The decriminalisation has had some interesting results and Portugal's drug mortality rate is now the lowest in Western Europe. Portugal are now spending more money and more resources on helping people and spending less of police resourcing on actually trying to catch people with drugs. What this does is it gets people the help they need when they need it and it prevents police from wasting resources and spending more time catching serious criminals and serious issues within society. The Misuse of Drugs Act from 1971 continues to be the primary legislative framework for drug control in the UK and the government has no intention of decriminalising drugs and states that drugs are illegal because scientific and medical analysis has shown that they are harmful to human health. Drug misuse is also associated with much wider societal harms, including family breakdown, poverty, crime and antisocial behaviour. But what do you think? Should the UK decriminalise drugs?